So how do we um, work with families so that they understand um, how they're affected by poverty? For many years, we tried to, sol to answer this question uh, through our microfinance program. And although we saw a lot of people um, improving their businesses, earning more income, something was still missing. So what was missing is that if we were to go back and visit these families, we were still finding that even though they were earning more income, maybe they did still didn't have a healthy bathroom. Even though they were making more money, they still live in pretty unhealthy communities or uh, didn't have access to water and many different components of poverty and aspects in which they could improve their quality of life that wouldn't necessarily happen because of our interventions. So we created what is called the poverty stop life because we saw that poverty affects different families in many different ways, even within one neighborhood. So what if we break down the concept of poverty, which is usually complicated, hard to grasp, uh, difficult to understand for family and for families and make it so that they can take ownership and really understand, okay, in which aspects of poverty is my family affected and what can I do to own that and to do something about it? So we created um, a simple way of how we can identify poverty first. We need to know what, what doesn't get measured, doesn't get solved. So we're measuring poverty, but from the perspective of the family and using color, color to, to code the different situations. So in the case of water, for example, a family would see um, a family that is carrying water from a stream or a river, and that would be a situation of extreme poverty. They will see another picture that where a family is getting water from a well, and that will be a situation of poverty. And then in the third place, they'll see a, a green picture of where a family actually has a faucet and access to, to clean water uh, during all the time of the day. So in a very quick way, the family can relate to this picture and say, okay, which one is my situation? And then we move to the next one. And we'll do this with 50 indicators, uh, focusing not only in the traditional indicators of income, health, education, but also going to, okay, what are the other aspects of poverty, such as self-esteem, family violence, um, that are often not taken into account, but are clearly very important when families need to be empowered um, to overcome poverty. We use technology, so we have developed a, uh, a visual survey where we can use tablets when we get to work to the community. The families themselves are looking at the three pictures, say, okay, which is a situation that better relates to my uh, family and choosing the pictures. And we do, do, we do that uh, with the 30 indicators uh, in about 20 to 30 minutes. So what happens after? Once you're finished, just going through the assessment, um, the family can clearly see, okay, all the reds and all the yellows are where I need to work on, are where I'm, I'm going to establish my priorities and my plan so that my family can improve our life condition. Because we use technology, we can geotag, and in a very simple map, we can see that each dot is a family, and we can start partnership. Okay, we need to actually get solution based on real needs and partner with government or with public sector to bring interventions. So the poverty subject is not just about measuring poverty, but actually what we want is to in, unleash the potential that, that families have inside to move them towards green. So it's in a very simple way, we, we, we want them to make the transition indicator by indicator from red to yellow to red. And we've seen amazing change happen just by, by, just by helping families realize their potential and how much change can happen. This is a competition, sort of like a stream makeover, where families were able to, uh, to work for three months with their partners, uh, just raise money in the community and actually transfer their bathroom, just because they knew that they wanted to get to green. We also can, from having information from the bottom up, we can partner with governments, like in this case, to provide IDs for the families. And so there's, there's many different ways in which we can unleash the power and, and let the solution sort of blossom. And, and that's what we've been trying to do at Fundacion Paraguaya, but especially partner with, uh, partnering with organizations, nonprofit businesses um, across countries so that they can implement the poverty stoplight in their own programs. It's a very adaptable tool because what we want is we define locally what does it mean to be poor or what does it mean to actually not be poor at the family level and then encourage the families to take ownership of that and develop a plan to, to actually implement it.
Um, so as we scale up, we have developed a big network of organizations and what we're looking for is uh, to improve our, our technology. We want to, right now we reach people one by one, we want to be able to reach millions and to break that barrier of um, um, having to, to, to be present. Um, we also, we're, we're testing the potential through, business, through a business model where we have hubs in every country that are representing this tool. Um, so uh, we really do our, our are very hopeful that, that this tool is sort of like can meet the gap between, okay, having information come from the family and then also uh, the other many different tools uh, that exist to address the SDGs. So thank you.